This is Twit. Uh, back to the phones. Uh, Kevin's on the line from Porter Ranch, California. Hi, Kevin. Hi, uh, Leo. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Great. Um, yes, I have a, a first grader that's doing distance learning, and we have her doing her distance learning on the Mac, and I'm trying to block YouTube because she gets easily distracted. Yes. So, so she finds her way over there. And I use the built-in controls for screen time, but they don't seem to work for YouTube. I, like, want to block <laughs> block it as an adult site, and that don't work. Here's what I would suggest. This actually just got launched. You know, there was YouTube kids for a while, for really little kids. Uh -huh. But they realized as soon as kids get a, a little bit older, uh, they get a little bit more interested. This is not intended for first graders, but I think it would work just fine. You'll create, you'll log her in with her own YouTube account. Okay. And then they have something called supervised YouTube accounts where you as the parent get to choose what the kid can see. So as, as if you wanted to, you could limit it so much that, you know, there would just be uh, NASA videos, for instance, or educational videos, that kind of thing. Okay. So th what I would do is go to youtube.com slash my family because you'll see YouTube kids there. I think she's probably a little old for that. That's really more like for six-year-olds. Uh, she's kind of in between because then there's the supervised YouTube, which is aimed at kids 10, 11, 12, you know, tweens. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, she's a smart kid. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think there is some stuff on YouTube you might want to give her access to. There's great science information, math, uh -huh. educational stuff. So maybe this supervised YouTube is the solution. So you okay. you give her her own account. Um, it, it it explains how to go through this. So it's a logger in under. Uh -huh. Yeah, under her own account. In fact, what I would suggest with the Mac is make a her own account on the Mac, mm -hmm. and only have that YouTube logged in. Only you know. Then you can really control what's going on in that Mac. No, don't let her use your account. Yeah, that's what's going on. Good. All right. So, so, yeah. so I would take a look at this. This is brand new. They just introduced it, and I think it's pretty smart. Okay. I don't know. I haven't really played with it much if you can limit the n number of hours, but I think you can. I think you can, and you could certainly choose the content level. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's that's important too. And you could also, I think you could you could whitelist and blacklist. You could just say, look, I only wanted to see videos from these four channels, that kind of thing. Yeah. So it's it's yes, they do have screen timers on it. So yes, you can limit the time as well. Okay. Okay, we'll try that. So I have one other quick question. Um, do you have any idea when the M1 iMac is going to be coming out? Or? Well, you know, Apple, of course, is on the phone with me daily telling me everything that's <laughs> happening inside Cupertino. They're being silly, obviously, I have no idea. No one does. But I would expect certainly first half of the year. So they've done the, they've done the basically the low-end laptops with their new chips. So that means there's a whole lot of room for them to do it. And they and I suspect that almost everything will be this year. They said it's going to take as long as two years. I think it's going to be the higher-end Macs, the iMac Pro and the Mac Pro, that they won't get till to the end of the year. But the iMac is their best, is, is their desktop flagship. So, you know, there was a rumor there'd be an Apple event next month that is probably not the case. And even if there is, it would be iPads most likely. Um, but I think before June, we'll see an iMac with the M1 chip. And that, by the way, I will be first in line to buy it. I am so happy uh, with this new chip that Apple is using. They're incredible. And there's some stuff that it needs. There needs more, the ability to have more memory. It's limited to 16 gigs of RAM right now. It needs to be able to have more ports. It's only got two USB 4 ports right now. And I would love to see more processors, better GPUs, and that kind of thing. And I have a feeling that's exactly what Apple's going to do with the uh, iMac. So expect that in the next few months, let's put it. Let, I think that's a safe bet, Kevin. Okay, thank you, Mr. Leo. Anytime, Mr. Kevin. Have a good day. Okay. Take bye. care. Yeah, this it's funny that you should call because it's the, <laughs> they just announced, YouTube just announced this supervised YouTube. you got to think, though, that a lot of this is because of Parents like you, Kevin, who have this exact issue. My kid is on computer all day now because she's studying, you know, she's taking 
first grade. Oh man, that's got to be tough. You know, she wants to be with her friends. She wants to be in school. It's got to be so tough. We're almost there. I really feel like it. We're almost there. Maybe, maybe this will be the last semester. Kids will be back with their friends.